YouTube Fight fans, welcome back to Boxing with Chris. If it's your first time here, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe because I'm back. And you know when I'm back, back to talk boxing. Edgar Berlanga, Padraig McCorry. If I last night, I don't hope I'm saying his name right with all due respect. But before I say that, we do have our credentials. We will be live in Orlando for the day ringside to check out this fight hopefully edgar berlanga can get back on track we know edgar berlanga who stands at 21 and all with 16 wins coming by way of knockout has not looked as good since the knockout streak ever since he stepped up in competition it has not looked like the same fighter he's looked okay in this last fight but he hasn't looked all right we know from what I hear about McCrory, he was a light heavyweight. So now he's usually fighting guys from 160 up going up. Now he's fighting a guy coming down in weight. I look at it like this. Both of these guys stands at 6'1". Berlanga with a 73-inch reach. McCrory with a 72. So these guys are almost identical in, you know, the physical attributes. Edgar Berlanga is definitely bigger in body mass. But I feel like they're trying to do whatever it takes to set him up to get back on the knockout streak so he can look good. Maybe set him up with a Diego Pacheco. Maybe set him up with a Jaime Munguilla or maybe even a Canelo Alvarez, which is never if by far the imagination. But I feel for him, this is a fight that has to get him back into that stardom. We know he had a big upcoming with 16 first round knockouts when he came onto the scene. And the moment they started giving him, you know, some tough veterans, he struggled, he's changed coaches. He's even left top rank and is now with Matchroom. And his career looks to be a little bit all over the place. A lot of hopes of him being the next Puerto Rican one out of the states even though he's not fully puerto rican if you know what i mean but this should be a fight where hopefully he gets back into that knockout street or just looks impressive impressive overall but as a tail of the tape i feel like he just he doesn't have an identity some fights he wants to box as an amateur he was a boxer he was great then he started falling in love with his power then he goes back to boxing so he's having an identity crisis he doesn't know if he wants to box he doesn't know if he wants to be a ko artist hopefully he can find his identity and be a great fighter which is all i want but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below it's your boy chris make sure you like comment and subscribe because you know what i do i keep it a more than 92 and i'm gonna see y'all soon peace